Hello, welcome to this presentation in which we explain and demonstrate how to configure Chargeback. Chargeback is an accounting tool that provides infrastructure consumers with resource usage metering. This supports charging for consumed resources and provides reports that show users the resources they consume. This presentation comprises a few segments and each segment begins with an overview of important background and concepts and is followed by a brief demonstration. In this segment, we discuss peak time windows and you see how to check and set peak hours for a custom Monday through Friday time window. Every chargeback plan is based on a schedule of peak hours. There is a global peak time window definition and you can create additional custom peak time windows as needed. A peak time window is a schedule that specifies times of high utilization. It is a named object that is based on a time zone and includes one or more peak hour definitions. The peak hours for the default or global time window are all day for five days per week, Monday through Friday. You can create custom time windows with their own separate peak hour definitions. Within the peak hour definition, you select particular days and specify a time period that applies to all selected days. The time period can be all day or can be defined by start and stop times. Custom time windows are applied to extended charge plans which are discussed in an upcoming segment. Now let's take a look at a custom peak time window. In this session I'm logged in as the self-service or customer administrator. Click on the Enterprise menu, then click Chargeback. The Chargeback interface appears, displaying the Home tab. Scroll the lower section of the page and click the Settings tab, then click Edit next to the small pencil icon to the right of the Peak Times label. The Set Peak Times dialog box appears. There are currently two time windows, the Global Time Window and a custom time window named MUN to FRI or MON to FRI for Monday to Friday. Currently, the peak hours associated show Monday through Saturday full day. With the Monday to Friday time window selected, click Edit next to the pencil icon to see the time window definition. A small dialog box appears with the time window name and the time zone. The time zone is 7 hours after coordinated universal time, which is the U.S. Mountain Time Zone. We retain the current settings, so click OK to continue. Recall that you can have more than one definition of peak days and hours, so click Add while the Monday to Friday time window is still selected above. The Peak Hours dialog box appears. The time window states these hours apply to the Monday to Friday time window. So, Check the boxes for Monday through Friday, then click Partial Day to enable From and To Hours. For From, select 9 a.m. And for To, select 5 p.m. Click on OK. We added a second set of peak days, so now we can remove the unnecessary peak days definition that remains. It is currently selected so click Remove. A confirmation appears and click OK. Now the Monday to Friday time window has a single peak time definition for weekdays 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Click OK. In this segment we discuss and demonstrate setting rates for the Universal Charge Plan. The Universal Charge Plan sets rates for CPU, memory, and storage. You cannot delete or remove the Universal Charge Plan, but you can revise it. These charges apply to every VM or server configured into a charge plan. Now, let's see how to create a revision of the Universal Charge Plan. At the Chargeback Interface Home, click the Charge Plans tab to display the Charge Plans interface. The Universal Charge Plan has a star next to it on the list of charge plans. Click on the Universal Charge Plan label to see all revisions of the plan. Currently, there are two revisions in effect one that is for the month of June, the other from July 1st to an indefinite future. If your chargeback structure is simple, you can keep only one revision in effect. However, if you want to change rates by the month to reflect seasonal or similar less frequent periods, you can create a revision to support that as shown here. While the revision is selected, click Set Rates. 
Another page appears with a list of universal rates, CPU usage, memory allocation, and storage allocation. The CPU usage entry has already been selected, so we change the rate to $0.46 cents per hour. Select Memory Allocation and change the value to $18.40 per gigabyte per day. And select Storage Allocation and change the value to $1.15 per gigabyte per day. Before clicking Save, note the warning. The changes made now will be reflected in charges for the entire month. Click Save and a confirmation message appears. Dismiss this message by clicking the small x in the upper right corner. The Universal Charge Plan has been updated for the current month. Next, we'll discuss and demonstrate the creation of an extended charge plan. An extended charge plan enhances the Universal Plan to include entity-specific metrics. After an extended plan is used, it can never be deleted or removed from the system. In the following demonstration, we work with the Oracle VM guest, so in addition to the three universal resources, you can also charge for features specific to Oracle VM. Let's see. On the Charge Plans interface, click Create, then click Plan to create the extended charge plan. Give the charge plan a name. We enter OPCC-CD-Plan. For the peak time window, we select Monday to Friday. Under Entity Types on the left side of the screen, click Add. A list of entity types appears in a dialog box. Click on the list entry for Oracle VM Guest and click OK. Oracle VM Guest now appears in the Entity Types list and additional options for chargeable resources appear. For our demonstration, we want to add another item which is not currently displayed. Click Add Item below the Oracle VM Guest label, and the Add Item dialog box appears. For Item Name, select High Availability. Retain the flat charge type and the conditional operator of equals. For Condition Value, click on the small magnifying glass, then select Y. Click OK. Now click Add. High Availability now appears as an item of the Oracle VM guest. High Availability means that a VM will be automatically restarted if the server hosting it crashes. This is a resource that should be chargeable, so for this demonstration, enter $1.20 per day. Now click Save. The new Extended Charge Plan, OPCC CD Plan, appears and it applies to the current month onward. Up to now we set peak times, updated a revision to the Universal Charge Plan for CPU memory and storage, and added an extended charge plan to charge for high availability, which is an option that can be set for a VM. Next we create a cost center. You create the cost center to aggregate charges calculated against the Universal and Extended Chargeback plans. You will have to supply a cost center name and a description. In this presentation, the cost center is set for an Oracle Enterprise Manager user. The following demonstration shows how to create a cost center and assign a user. On the chargeback interface, click the cost centers tab to see the cost centers interface. Now, click add to access the new cost center dialog box. Enter a cost center name. We enter OPCC-CD-CC, and we provide OPCC-CC1 for the display name. Click OK, and a confirmation message appears at the top of the page. The new cost center appears on the list right behind PCA Prod, but we want to find the user to associate with the cost center, so click on the default cost center. Scroll the user list for the default cost center, which appears on the bottom half of the display. And here, click on Sales Cloud User 2. Now, click on Assign to Cost Center. In the list of cost centers that appears in the small dialog box, select the cost center OPCC CC1, then click OK. 
the user, Sales Cloud User 2, is now associated with the cost center OPCC CDCC. The next activity involves adding entities. In this presentation, we add an Oracle VM zone and assign the zone to a charge plan and to a cost center. After making those assignments, there is an opportunity to review before submitting. Let's go through the steps to implement the charge plan for the cost center we created. On the chargeback interface, click the Entities tab. Under the label Cost Center and Charge Plan Assignment for Entities, click Add. This starts a three-step sequence. In the first step, we want to select the Oracle VM zone target, so click Add. In the Select Targets dialog box, change the target type from All to Oracle VM Zone by unchecking the All checkbox and checking the Oracle VM Zone box. The Sales Marketing Zone appears in the target name list. Click this item and then click Select. A small message box appears, then disappears automatically. Now, click Next to continue. The selected zone and the Oracle VM guests within it appear on the page to make assignments. Click on the Oracle VM zone, which is at the top of the list, then click Assign Plan. A list of plans appears in a small dialog box. If necessary, scroll the list to locate the OPCC CD plan. Click on the plan in the list, then click OK. The plan name appears in the Charge Plan column. Now, click Assign Cost Center. A list of cost centers appears in a dialog box. Click on the OPCC CC1 Cost Center, then click OK. The cost center appears in the Cost Center column for the selected target zone. Click Next to review the assignments. Note the columns for Charge Plan and Cost Center on the right side of the list. With the assignments in place, click Submit. The chargeback interface returns and the confirmation at the top informs us that 32 entities have been added successfully. This accounts for all the Oracle VM guests in the selected target zone. Dismiss the message by clicking the small x in the upper right corner. Now, note the two items showing in the bottom of the displayed list. They are Oracle VM guests that were just configured into the plan. Scroll the display to see other VM guests if necessary. Also note that the two guests show no data collected. You'll see how to do on-demand data collection in the next segment. In this segment, you'll see how to set up a report by applying various filters and also how to run an on-demand data collection cycle. Chargeback reporting allows you to generate reports using a variety of criteria. Graphically, you can create and view summary pie charts of resource utilization or a bar chart by month for daily resource utilization trends. You can sort and filter on date range, tenant, cost center, entity, and or metric. Data collection is run automatically on a daily basis. However, you can force data collection on demand. The on demand feature is helpful for updating data collected after creating a new cost center, adding new entities to an existing cost center, or changing users for particular entities. At the chargeback interface, click on the Reports tab. Display the change summary by clicking the small triangle next to the change summary label under the report type selection. Click on the report type pull down menu and click on the trending option. Now, click View Report. Use the View Report button to update the display in response to any changes made to the criteria used to create the report. The trending report appears with a day-by-day -day view of resource utilization for all entities under Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control. Move the mouse over any area of the bar to see what charges have accrued since the beginning of the month. The key at the right of the bar chart explains the various charges along with the pop-up message that appears next to the cursor. Return to the Report Type selection and choose Summary, then click View Report. To create a report for a particular cost center, click the small magnifying glass next to the cost center input. A small dialog box appears with the cost center hierarchy. 
select OPCC CC1, then click OK. Now, click View Report. The display shows resource utilization for only the OPCC CC1 Cost Center. Collapse the graphic display by clicking the small triangle next to the Change Summary label. At present, only four Oracle VM guests are configured for charges to the Cost Center. Return to the Entities interface by clicking the Entities tab at the top of the display. On the Entity list, select three Oracle VM guests that currently belong to the default Cost Center. That is the Cost Center to which newly created VMs are assigned. Click Assign Cost Center. A small dialog box appears with the Cost Center hierarchy. Click the OPCC CC1 option and click OK. A confirmation message appears at the top of the display acknowledging the three targets assigned. Return to the Reports display by clicking the Reports tab. Again, click on the magnifying glass next to the Cost Center input, select OPCC CC1 Cost Center, click OK, and click View Report. Although the targets were assigned to the cost center, they do not yet appear in the report. We must update the data collected. So, return to the Entities interface. On the Entities interface, open the Action menu and click On Demand Data Collection. Click Yes on the pop-up message that appears. An informational message appears at the top of the display with a link. Click the link to view progress. The job page appears, and auto-refresh is already set at 15 seconds. Monitor this page until the status shows succeeded. Now, click the Enterprise menu and click Chargeback. When the Chargeback interface appears, click the Reports tab. Limit the report again to the OPCC CC1 Cost Center and click View Report. On-demand data collection has run and recognized the assignment of new targets to the cost center. To create a report, click the report icon above the list of targets for the cost center. Here, I acknowledge the created report and I choose to download it. The HTML cost center report produced shows accrued charges for the Oracle VM guests that are assigned to the OPCC CC1 cost center. You have seen an end-to-end -end chargeback configuration, including the execution of on-demand data collection and creation of a cost center report. This ends the presentation. Thank you for watching.